cover our faces in sight of our law. Yeah, 
hope we can't hear anything. You've grown up a bit since last year. I thought, Rose, I'd like you to meet Tom Gifford, a friend of ours from Boston. Good to see you, Tom. I say you've grown up a bit since last year. And you're prettier than ever. Don't encourage her, Father. She's conceited enough as it is. I didn't expect to see you back here this year. I thought you'd exhausted the uh, uh, archaeological possibilities of the area. So did we, but then Tom showed us something he dug up not far from here. Yeah, we thought it was interesting enough to come and take a look. Then I've Tom to thank for the pleasure of seeing you again. Uh, what, uh, what is this uh, point? village to show me what they'd found. And they went back to that land of evil to see if they could find anything else. And they both disappeared without a trace. That's pretty heavy, Father. Yeah, I think maybe your imagination is working overtime. You're on a line, Tom. We've known Father Roche for years. He's the world authority in ancient religion. I'm sure he knows a lot more about it than any of us. Sorry. Here, dig in. I'm putting you in separate rooms till I've pronounced you man and wife personally. That, you're in here. Come on, Tom and Ian. Ian, you're in this one. Tom, you're in there. Right. Good night. Good night. Sleep well. Good night. I certainly will, now that I've talked you out of going back to that devil's territory. Good night, Father. Good night. Good morning. If 
you do that again, I'll break your arm. Hey, don't do that. Go to the cooking. What a nice place. <laughs> Look at the sights later. Food, woman, food. If you haven't got me, I'll have to go to the village. Would you mail a letter for me while you're there? To Laurie, right? I bet you miss her. Yeah, and you guys make it worse. Who can sleep with that going on all night, huh? You don't have to listen. <laughs> When's Laurie coming? Next Saturday. I'm meeting her at the airport. I'm ready. Thanks, sir. I'll be right back. I hope you don't stop to death. No, we won't. We can look around while we're waiting, huh? Right. Maybe we can find that entrance that Father Roach is talking about. Come and look at this. Found something interesting. The secret entrance. The double act. This must be the tune that Father Roche was talking about. Was right. We better get out of here. Go 
those who enter the forbidden chamber of the Minotaur must die. Yours? Mm -hmm. Max, will you put these things in the young lady's car, please? Are you here on holiday? Well, sort of a working holiday. My friends and I are interested in archaeology. We've pitched a couple of tents near the temple, by the old castle. My castle? I am Baron Corifax. You are on my land. Oh, geez. But don't worry. If you're genuinely interested, this is one of the oldest pagan sites in the country. Are you a real baron? For my sins. It's an ancient title in my own land, which is Carpathia. Now I live here. If I can be of any help to you and your friends, don't hesitate to call on me. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, my package. Forgive me. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. young lady wandering in the grounds, sir. She's looking for her friend. I know you're worried, but there's no reason to be. Your friends can't be far away. I don't know. I'm afraid. My dear child, they're perfectly safe, and so are you. All you need is a good night's rest. You can stay at the inn. My chauffeur will drive you there. Thank you very much, but I'd rather walk. It might help to calm me down. As you wish. Good night, Baron. Thank you. Good night.
sure there's nothing else in the letter? No. Just as I told you. He told me he was camping at an ancient site and that he'd meet me at the airport. And he wrote me about you. That's why I came here. Hello? Who? Hello, Father. How are you? What do you mean? But I can't just... Really? When? Look, Father, I do believe you, but... All right, calm. Calm down, calm down. I'll be there as soon as I can. in a car smash. You might as well have stayed in New York. What? And miss all the scenery? Keep your hands on the wheel. Okay. Just look at the speed of it, Hillary. I'd have taken the bus if I'd known he was such a speed demon. There you go again. Demons and devils. <laughs> How are we doing? We're nearly there. You've got to remember, I'm just a simple private detective. I deal in facts. And all you're giving me is demons and devils. Don't drive so fast! If you're afraid to meet your maker, we're all in a lot of trouble. I'm not afraid to meet my maker. I just don't want to meet him today. Looks as though the devil's got another one. now and see if they know anything. Hey, what about me? Don't worry, we won't be long. Keep your eyes open for some more funerals. Father Roach, we have to talk together on the telephone. 
Oh, yes, I remember. You said some kids had disappeared. Yes, that's right, Sergeant... Um... Ventus. Sergeant Ventus. This uh, is Mr. K. How do you do? Mr. K lived here at one time. Come into my office. I told you. How did they disappear? Who said they disappeared? I said they were here, and then they must have left. This is the third disappearance in a row. And this time there were three of them. What do you want me to do? Well, maybe you can start by telling us where we can find a place to stay. Well, I don't know. Usually you can stay at the inn, but the owner has just died. Why don't you wait here and I'll see what I can do. I'll be right back. Excuse me. You see? He doesn't admit a thing. Wait a minute. Our friend Ventress may be a little shifty-eyed, but that doesn't make him a demon. something about these kids who have disappeared? I can't talk now. Come to my house. I'll tell you everything, babe. Not here. Hey, oh, hold on. Well, wait a minute. Wait. Well, it's all set. The widow is in no state to do anything. So our grocer, Mr. Caraperi, said he'd do what he can for you at the inn. Get the maid to make up the bed. Mrs. Michaelis told me she wants you to make yourselves at home here. Oh, thank you. But my daughter is uh, getting your rooms ready for you. Oh, sit here. Uh, come with me, please. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Come in. Comfortable in here? Oh, yes, very. Everything required for the well-equipped devil hunter, eh? <laughs> very nice work. Beth's father made it for me, years ago. It's holy water, too. I've never had such a well-armed assistant. See that woman? No. No, you're not going tonight. Why? Because I make the decision. Please, trust me.
even I can't tell you that till she comes around. Devil's work, look. The devil has many faces. And many helpers, too. Come on, let's get out of here. It's all right. There's no one here now. There is someone here. I feel him all around me. But I'll come with you. We must go and see the barracks. Let's go. Or that woman. I'm sure she knows something. downstairs. We came back to ask you a question. Oh, never mind about that right now. The Baron said he'd like a word with you. He's not the only one. He invited you up to the castle. What happens if we refuse? Do get in, please. Get in. Please. 
And what about Laurie? I think we'd better leave her here. I hope he's a better driver than you are. The Baron's chauffeur came and picked them up. Oh, why didn't they wait for me then? Wasn't I invited too? We'll be right back. Sit down. I'll buy you a drink. No, thanks. I'd rather take a walk. As you wish. This way. Thank you. It's, uh... It was very kind of you to invite us. Surely selfish, I'm afraid. I have little in common with the local people. Please, make yourselves comfortable. If you have nothing in common with the local people, why can't you return to your own country? Alas, I'm an exile. You being an American will find that hard to understand. Being an American, I understand it okay. Excuse me. Mrs. Michaelis is staying with me for a few days. I was sorry to hear about your husband. Please accept my condolences. Mine too. Thank you. Hi there. A fine child. Thank you. What an odd toy. Odd? Yeah. It's old, but not odd. That is the Labrys. I know. How old is this? Perhaps 4,000 years. It's, um, it's the ancient symbol of the Minoan priesthood. What a strange toy to give to a child. I didn't want to say too much, but it's also a symbol, a symbol of human sacrifice. Can't you let up for a minute? It was only a toy. Let's go and see that woman. Maybe then we can find some facts.
You. Who did you think it was? Old Nick? The whole village is deserted. What do you mean? I mean just exactly what I say. Why don't you turn the lights on? Because there aren't any lights. I told you. They've been here. They've turned the Lori, lights off. Stop it. I don't don't, Lori, stop it. Calm down. Calm down. It's all right, Laurie. It's all right. Come on, Laurie. Come on. You need to lie down. Come downstairs. I'm going to have a drink. Are you all right now? I'm scared, Father. Please stay with me. Do you want to come back downstairs with us? No. I'm tired of being treated like a child. Milo doesn't believe me. But there was something chasing me in the woods. I couldn't see them clearly, but they were like... They were like some human fiend. I believe you. I'm worried. What's happened with Tom? I think he... I think he's been held... captive. Captive? By Satan. Mephistopheles. Lucifer. These are just three words for the same thing. A phenomenon that's older than mankind. A power without a face. A force that can make people do whatever it wants them to do. The devil. Yes. Yes, Laurie. The devil. I believe the devil has taken possession of this village. I don't want to insult you, Father. I'm not religious. I don't believe... You young people religion. are all the same. You live entirely on the surface. You don't understand the frailty of mankind. Oh, don't get angry with me. I am telling you the truth. I am telling you. 
telling you the truth. Now, do you want to come downstairs and have a drink with us? No. I think I'll have a rest. But if you hear me calling, you'll come quickly. Father. The devil has many faces. You better... Uh, you better lock your door. your theories on the new look in old religions? Did she buy it? This car one for her? I guess she's not so dumb after all. Well, you're probably right about one thing. Those kids are being held prisoner somewhere. And where the devil did the whole village disappear to? You've answered your own question? To the devil. Only one thing can save you now. Father Lush must die. He has entered my forbidden chamber. Nothing wrong with my capacity. I tell you, I saw something out here. Well, I didn't. You might be right. Morning. 
Never mind, let's get after them. They're headed towards the woods. Are you okay? Yes, I, uh, I think so. But, uh, did you have to push me so hard? Sorry. I should have, should have hit you. remain and the ancient gods live on. The old customs remain and the ancient gods live on. The old customs remain and the ancient gods live on. The old They must be holding them somewhere near here. Milo! It's their car! Whose car? The children, Beth and Ian. Sacrifice remain, and the ancient gods live on. The old customs remain, and the ancient gods live on. Come on, quickly, I tell you.
What do you mean? Is the young lady awake yet? Yeah. Oh, the young lady. Her clothes are all gone. Where the hell is she? What are you doing in here? You frightened me. I'm sorry. It was an accident.
What have you done with her? What are you talking about? What's going on? The girl's missing. Where is she? If she is missing, assaulting the police is not the best way to find her. All right, then. You tell me. Stay where you are. I don't think we have any need of a shotgun, Baron Corifax. Someone has to keep law and order. You realize that assaulting a police officer is a very serious offense. And I'm going to prefer charges. Shut up. I'm not finished with you yet. Mrs. McIlis, these gentlemen say they came here with a girl. Do you know where she is? A girl? I don't know. I didn't see any girl when I opened up. Perhaps she decided to leave on her own. Where was your car last night, Baron? At my house. You're a liar. How dare you speak to me like that? I could cut you in half with this, and everyone would swear it was self-defense. Except me. You have one minute to get out of here. Both of you. Not without Miss Gordon. Fifty seconds. Well, uh, we have to pack. Forty. This isn't the last time we'll meet, Baron Corifax. Why are we stopping? Think you're going to get anywhere with bullets? Why not? The Baron didn't look bulletproof to me. You still can't face it. Can you? My lord, we are up against a force that no traditional weapon has the power to destroy. So we're not even going to try and fight it, right? We just forget about Ian and Beth. And what about Laurie? What do we do, just walk out? Leave her to those fiends? Oh, no, we're coming back. Listen to me, my lord. There is one force that has the power to stop them. Otherwise, they would have ruled the entire world from the beginning. Yeah, well... I could be scared if I thought about it. That makes you human like the rest of us. Oh, yes, yes. We'll go back. We'll go back with the sort of weapons they need to fight them.
forbidden chamber must die. Kill the priest. I hear you, O oh Lord. Can't you go any faster? We must be there by moonrise. What's got into you all of a sudden? I thought speed scared you. This time God is with us. I hope you're right, because the way I'm driving, we're going to need him. happening up there. What time does the moon rise? It won't be long. In that moment that the moonlight falls on the mining tower, the ceremony begins. And this time it's Tom and Laurie that have to why didn't they kill Tom yesterday? Because the Minotaur command had a couple of dissatisfied. We've got to stop them. I'll turn them back. You act as if you hadn't understood a word I said. Pray the Almighty God, confound the haughtiness of our fault. Crush with thy mighty arm his insolence, that you may humble the enemies of the Holy Church. Amen. Come on!
on our faces in sight of our Lord. We Go down the other way. The old custom remains. The old custom remains.
Father? I'll pray for you. My Lord, when you need me. How did the children survive? They're young. Their souls are incorruptible. In their purity and innocence lies the hope of the future. But the fight against the devil goes on. And one day, Milo, who knows? Maybe I'll need your help again to rid the world of evil. <laughs> 